Hey guys, Profe Pablo here, Spanish teacher turned redstone teacher. That doesn't rhyme. Anyway, in this section of Redstone School, we are going to be explaining redstone repeaters because... Redstone repeaters are more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Epic, right? In this video, let's explore how to make redstone repeaters, why to use redstone repeaters, and where to use redstone repeaters. And as a bonus, we will learn about some much needed redstone builds that you can make using repeaters. First, let's look at how to make these bad boys. Three stones, two redstone torches, one redstone dust. Ah, I get it, it looks like a repeater. Repeaters have two main functions and a bunch of smaller mind-blowing functions. The first main function is that they extend the redstone signal. So let's say that you have a light switch that's 20 blocks away from your lever. First of all, why would you ever do that? Just move the lever. So your redstone won't be able to reach that far. You run out of redstone signal because redstone dust can only carry a redstone signal 15 blocks. To extend the signal, just place a repeater towards your light anywhere on the redstone line. Remember, repeaters are directional. It will point in the direction that you are facing, and it will extend the signal 15 more blocks from wherever you place the repeater. It simply repeats the signal, thus, redstone repeater. The next function that repeaters have is to delay the redstone signal. Sometimes in redstone, you will need to slow the process down. Maybe for some sort of contraption like my semi-auto netherwart farm? Anyway, to delay the signal, simply click the repeater. You will notice that something about it changes. As this torch keeps on moving backwards, you are delaying the signal more and more. This works great for repeater clocks, and I'm going to show you one right now. Sometimes in redstone, you will need to slow the process down. For this repeater clock, simply make a T-shape, place a torch here, place redstone dust here, break the middle block, place a repeater on top of this middle block facing the redstone dust, and we have a repeater clock. You can delay the signal by clicking the redstone repeater, and you can run a redstone line from anywhere on this clock, moving out, and it creates a repeated pulse clock. Another function of redstone repeaters is a push-pull mechanic. You can kind of see it here in this clock. Redstone repeaters, if you place them pointing away from a powered block, they are basically sucking signal from this block and repeating it starting here, and they will push that signal into the next block. This mechanic is very, very helpful when working with farms that use redstone repeaters. Another use for redstone repeaters is they prevent redstone dust from connecting. For example, if I have two redstone lines running side by side and I do not want them to connect, I can simply use redstone repeaters to run the line in the direction I want it to go, and it prevents that line from connecting. Just like that. Just for fun, let's do another redstone repeater clock. Take a repeater, place one here, 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 and here, creating kind of a square. Place redstone dust here, 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 and here. Place down a redstone torch and break it really quickly. Now we're gonna have to delay the signal to give me a little more time. You have to break that torch before the signal comes back around. All right, last try, Profe. There we go. Then you can simply run the signal off of one of the corners. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple redstone repeater tutorial. As always, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.